Hello there, giving you a little blog here with his even seven. Cause I got a new computer. It's a, a Gateway FX series with a whole bunch of fucking numbers and letters and shit. I don't know what it is. I'll put the details down in the description if you want to check that out. But basically what that means is I can play a whole lot more games now. Because my old laptop couldn't really handle all the games that I wanted to play. All the AAA titles and stuff like that. And it also means that I can render things out in HD without my computer overheating or taking four hours to render. And it also means I can use Sony Vegas for editing instead of having to use shitty Windows Live fucking Movie Maker thing. It sucks. It does the job, but it's not the greatest. And another thing I want to address is I'm going to be switching over to a new format. I'm not going to be doing classic Mondays or tuber, 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 turb, darb, derp, can't talk. Won't be doing Turbo Tuesdays or Wildcard Wednesdays or Tournament Thursdays, Friday Feats, or anything on Spooky Sundays either. Because basically I want to get through games a little faster. And I want to play more AAA titles that I haven't played. I've got a whole backlog of games that I need to get caught up on, like Assassin's Creed and Bioshock and Borderlands and because they got a whole shit ton of new games coming out and I want to play them and I don't want to be behind on the story and stuff so basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have three main games and then other than that I'll have some Randy indie games here and there which means I might even have two uploads a day at some days but for the most part it'll be single uploads still but the games I'm going to be doing, I'm going to finish up the Batman Arkham Asylum because I beat that game the other day, recorded it and whatnot. So that'll be finishing up in the next couple of days. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead with Arkham City because I've had that for a while and I really want to play it. And uh, I've got the DLC for Catwoman, which is a story DLC and it adds to the story, which will be cool to play. And with the Harley DLC coming out at the end of May, I think it's a good time to start playing it. As, and then I can play that as I get to the end, hopefully. And the other game I'm going to do is Dead Rising 2, because I basically just started that, so I'm not going to get rid of it already. And then I'm going to do Sonic 2, because I recorded the whole thing, might as well put it out there. And uh, after Sonic 2, I'm going to go back and do another retro game, because I don't want to have three AAA titles in one thing. I'm going to do Crash Bandicoot. I'm going to run through that series. And then I'm going to do Donkey Kong Country, because I did the first one. I'm going to do two now. And then I'm going to go back to Sonic and do Sonic 3. And then I'm going to go back to Crash and do Crash 2, and then Donkey Kong 3, and then Crash 3, and... All that mumbo jumbo. And uh, after Dead Rising 2, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the Assassin's Creed series. Starting with Assassin's Creed 1, and then I'm going to do 2, and then I'm going to do, what is it, Brotherhood, and then Revelations, and then 3 when that comes out. I'm not sure when that comes out. And then after the Arkham series from Batman, I'm going to go ahead and do the Bioshock series, because that's another series that I have not even touched. Actually, I, I've lied. I've played a little bit of the first Bioshock. Not much of it, though. Maybe the first half hour, 45 minutes or so. Not much done. So it'll still be pretty fresh. I'll do Bioshock 1 and 2. And then get ready for Bioshock Infinite, which has been pushed back, unfortunately. I'm really sad about that, because it looks fucking awesome. And then with my indie games, I'll have Happy Wheels still. Binding of Isaac now, because that is a fucking awesome game. I'm going to finish up the Bit Trip series. I need to finish up World of Goo. And then after I finish up those, I'm going to do Limbo and Braid and probably Bastion. And i got a whole bunch of indie games lined up that I want to play. And there's always new ones coming out that look awesome. And basically, I'm going to keep going with Hockey Night on YouTube, too, for Saturdays. Just for the rest of the, this playoffs, which is basically this series that is now, you got LA and Phoenix, which I don't give a shit about Phoenix, so I'm not going to be playing that game. 
but I will be playing New York and New Jersey because that looks like a sweet matchup. And then I'll play the Stanley Cup Finals, whoever that is. I'm going to hope it's New Jersey and uh, Los Angeles because that would be a great little final. And I hope New Jersey wins it because I like how they're playing. Even though I said I wanted L.A. to win, I want New Jersey to win. You go, Devils. But then after that, that is the end of Hockey Night on YouTube for a little bit, until I get NHL 13, because I don't want to keep going with a series with an outdated game like NHL 11. Nobody wants to see NHL 11, you want to see NHL 12. But NHL 12 is going to be old school soon too, because NHL 13 is going to be coming out. And that's going to be good. <clears throat> So basically, why I want to do this is because I'll get through games faster. I'll have to choose carefully the games that I want to play. So I'll, I'll be a little more excited about them, and I'll want to play them more. That'll make the commentary better, more energetic, and more exciting. This will give you less time in between the games that you actually want to see. Like, I, there was a lot of variety before with the... Uh, Retro games, racing games, fighting games, random indie games, RPG-ish type games, hockey, scary games. Maybe you didn't like retro games and all you wanted to watch was the scary games. Well, now, now you don't have to wait as long because I'll just keep going with three main games and blah 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 blah. Yeah, it'll help. Uh, I'll record in bigger chunks and whatnot, so consistent uploads will be a lot better. It'll be all, I'll upload it before I go to bed or something like that, so it's up for you in the morning. Basically, the only cons I can see with this idea is that there's a little less variety. But, I'm a little, I'm willing to sacrifice variety for quality. And that's basically all I have to really talk about, other than, uh, um, yeah, my fa- I, there's a link down in the description, right down in there, for Facebook my Facebook page there, if you like that, and you follow me on there, I ask a bunch of questions and stuff about which games I should do next, or what, maybe I need help in the game or something and I don't want to look something up, or whatever. I ask some questions and I put all the videos up there in case boxes aren't working or whatever. And then there's also a Twitter link over down in there too. And if you want to fo follow me on my everyday life, or whatever fucking reason you want to do that, I don't really use Twitter that much. But when I do, it's funny, I guess. I don't know. You don't have to follow me. And basically my last thing is, thank you for all of you people that are watching. All my 30 plus subscribers. I'm getting there, I'm getting a lot. And uh, almost 10,000 views. That's a lot more than I thought I would ever get. And it's going to only keep getting more and more, and this channel will only keep getting better and better. So thanks to all of you who have been there through all the laggy games and shit like that. Non-HD, bad mic quality. I'm getting better and better, so thanks for sticking through. And uh, I hope you like what's to come. If you don't, just let me know, and uh, I'll take that into consideration and hopefully make this channel a lot better. Anyways, that's pretty much all I wanted to say and enjoy the rest of this channel. Goodbye.